How y'all doing? I wanted to do a rest in peace to Clarence Avant, the godfather of black music, a man who was very instrumental in getting Jimmy Jam and Terry Lewis and Sila Records and L.A. and Babyface. You know, one thing about what you don't see in the business is a negotiator, a guy that can bridge the gap. He had a big hand in Jay-Z, Puffy, and quite a few others. You know, there's very few people that are able, especially when they're black, to work them circles. And Clarence Avon worked them circles. That's how he was able to, or Quincy Jones, etc. He was able to negotiate, represent the highest of the highest when he worked with Michael Jackson and so on and so forth. This man was like a guy that definitely got things done. Tragically, about a year and change ago, his wife was taken out in a very gruesome act. And, and I'm sure he was not quite the same and I, when I think about the timing of him now descending right now, it's good. it puts things in perspective, you know, and it was two souls as one. However, uh, thoughts and prayers are with his family. And this man, if you go, if you can watch the Netflix about the godfather, the black godfather of music, Clarence Avon, and understand what he, didn't do, what he did and what he represented and the people he represented, you'll understand why this is a heavy hit in the industry. And for people in the know. So rest in peace to Clarence Avon. Peace in him. Catch you next time. Wash your hands. Keep your mind clear. Watch out for nothing shit if you like. And uh, prayers and thoughts are with his family. I'm out.